another tactic mm. queen g6 is the first thing that comes to mind queen g6 king goes up king goes up and then then where else then queen f4 check then queen f7 mate right queen g6 queen f4 because this closes the king's uh, escape squares if i was going to if I was going to here, for example, he was blocking with the queen and we were losing. Or if I was going, I don't know, there is no other option. Uh, here is a similar. So it's very easy to see that the only other left, mm, the only left option is this one. If he blocks with the knight, doesn't matter. You capture with the queen or bishop, you will mate it in one or two moves. And if he moves forward, because all his exit squares are occupied by queen and pawns or are no, controlled by our queen it is made so let's go to the next one hmm. uh -huh. here i say check it goes up i say check with the pawn he goes up and i say check with the rook this is made is that easy I don't know, sometimes chess.com is giving me free points. I don't know what's the deal here. Why this is like perhaps 26, 2700 tactics. But as you can see, the first one is check. And first thing you uh, think about it is check captures. And this is check. And then you can see that the... Uh, your pawn also helps to mate in the center, especially your king position on h7 prevents his king escape square from to g6. So this is a, it's like a back rank mate at this moment, because there is no other rank that, uh, there's no other file that uh, king can run, and we occupy two of them, last two of them. Okay, yeah. I don't know what was the purpose of this puzzle at this level. Hmm. If I say check with a pawn. Yeah, I think this is the way to go, right? I say check with the pawn, king goes up. And then I say check with the queen, king's, mm, king takes the pawn. There is no other option. And then... I'd say check with the queen and mate. The problem here was that the king's uh, mm, surrounding was full and uh, it was the uh, edge file and uh, there was no other escape room. So also on the other hand, g6 was occupied. So king can, uh, couldn't move. For example, if g6, there was a pawn on g6, king could go in the previous move uh after this after, at this move king could have run to g6 still it was a very bad position but it wasn't uh, obvious mating net and this is important to check diagonally if i was going to check uh, for example from g4 the king was able to escape we should restrict the king as much as possible here, if, when I check, there is no escape to g6. There is only one square. That king can go. And this square is not a good square because it's a, it's very limited. And okay, there are two possible checks in this position. And you can check it. This one or this one. It wasn't. Uh, and this is a pattern that you should know. When king is in a corner, you can mate with the king and mm, queen or yeah with the queen or if there was another pawn on f4 then you can mate with the rook as well but yeah this is a pattern if you know you could immediately see this as um like me that it took me 20 seconds to implement it but i was explaining the thing otherwise it was three four seconds perhaps mm. i'm thinking about taking the pawn and yeah it's mate isn't it? take the pawn takes say check king g 
seven, new G eight, say check at the back rank. King goes to uh, G seven or the F seven, and then say check with the other rook. The only option is to go to G six. Here is the problem. I don't see the mate actually. I don't see the mate because yeah, because say it in several checks and then what happens? Another option I'm looking at is pushing pawn. Pushing pawn forward, he cannot capture it with the rook. Cannot uh, capturing with rook is immediate mate with the queen. Cannot push the pawn. Cannot capture with the pawn. And then what's the goal? Pawn is, uh, suppose the pawn is on g6. And he starts to run with the king. Mm, I don't see a good continuation for this. If I had, if I could place my rook at mm, G7, H7 and H6 and keeping his king at G6, it was dream square, dream position because he was made. I am very tempted to take the on H pawn and once it takes, uh, I think what to do. But let's see if there is any other better move of better move than this. Of course, we have perpetual check in this position, right? We take the pawn and then we check forever with our rook. And because we are doing a piece, it's not a bad situation, right? But there should be some mating attack here. Is it queen g6 bad? Because if he captures with the rook, I take with the check. He has to go to g8. Then... I go to h8 check, he goes up anywhere, oh, and not anywhere, he goes up to f7, and once I capture the other pawn with the other rook, he defends block with the rook. So pushing pawn doesn't get me anywhere, does it? It's not bad, right, is it? I think maybe I should go with perpetual check. If it is perpetual, then it's very bad puzzle because perpetual is obvious. You see it immediately. But if it is not perpetual, no, and but you spend a lot of time to find another solution. Hmm. Hmm. Check takes. Let me do it. I don't know. In the worst case, is wrong, and we learn something new. So let's see what was the mistake. Look at it, on person. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. In person, in a position that you don't expect at all. I mean, I should see the previous move. To play this yes of course if i knew that it's in person it was easy because king cannot run to f6 and yeah after he takes i first take this one because if he doesn't take first of all i can take the queen okay if he tries to save the rook you know, for example this way first we capture the rook and after he grabs this Again, he's in a very bad position with two uh, with uh, exchange stone. That was that was ridiculous. If I was thinking about it for ten more minutes, I couldn't get it. So good. I hope you enjoy. Bye.